You can actually see gameplay footage for Assassin's Creed Shadows right now. All you have to do is head over to assassinscreed.com and on the Assassin's Creed Shadows banner, click learn more. On the pre-order page, we can see in-game screenshots of Assassin's Creed Shadows running in engine. I'm going to slideshow these on screen as I explain. Now, of course, this is just a glimpse into what the game's going to look like when running. But from this, we can actually deduce a few things about what gameplay is going to be. We can see the two characters interacting with one another in the world. So from this, we know either it will just be scripted events where Nawe and Yasuke interact, or it could be you could call upon each other within the open world. We can also see from these screenshots that the open world will go through seasonal changes. And we did also get this as confirmation from IGN's interview with Ubisoft. But within these Assassin's Creed Shadows gameplay screenshots, we can see one image in summertime and then see the other image in wintertime. Now, if I'm to speculate here, I'd assume that the game will go through seasonal changes in the same way it did with AC3. In Assassin's Creed 3, Sequence 1, for example, may be summertime, where Sequence 3, for example, might be springtime, and Sequence 5 might be wintertime, and then it jumps a few years ahead in Sequence 6, and we're back to summertime, but years ahead. Those weather patterns in AC3 aren't accurate to the sequences, I'm just giving that as an example. I imagine as you progress through Assassin's Creed Shadows, we may not have sequences like we did in the older games, but as the story progresses, different years may pass, the characters may get older and with that the seasons change. Within these images here we actually get a close-up look at Yasuke. Now there are things I love and things I don't love when it comes to his character. Firstly, I think it's a really cool historical character to portray. Of course in real history it's been told that Yasuke was never an actual samurai and obviously within Assassin's Creed Shadows he is a samurai. Now that's not really something you can get mad about because look, Leonardo da Vinci never altered and tampered with the hidden blade. He never made a flying machine that went over Venice. To our knowledge, the Borgias were never Templars, so Yasuke being a samurai is the least of anyone's worries, or at least it should be. I think he's a really cool character with not much known about him in real life, which gives Ubisoft the ability to tell a really interesting story of an outsider. And if you don't want to play as Yasuke, well, you're actually in luck because we can play as Nawe. In this screenshot, we can see Nawe perching over a ledge, looking down at her enemies, probably infiltrating some sort of camp. Let's be honest, it's probably a fucking bandit camp because Ubisoft Quebec do love their bandit camps. <sighs> Anyway, now to me it looks like she's holding a throwing knife on the pointy end. I might be being a massive idiot here, but that's kind of what it looks like. It's probably something else. Regardless, it looks like an assassin tool. And it is also dark and uh, <laughs> uh, shadowy. So uh, you can see in this screenshot how we may be able to use the shadows to our advantage. So those were the main gameplay screenshots we saw. However, there is much more to go into today. On top of that, we've actually got a lot of gameplay information, again, from Ubisoft themselves, the horse's mouth. Explore feudal Japan. Discover the captivating open world of feudal Japan. From spectacular castle towns and bustling ports to peaceful shrines and pastoral landscapes. Adventure through unpredictable weather, changing seasons and reactive environments. Now the last part of that piqued my interest. Reactive environments. Are we talking Crackdown 3 E3 demo level of environmental destruction? Or are we talking like in Valhalla when you can smash a pot? I'm gonna guess it's somewhere in the middle of that. If we take a look at Cyberpunk 2077, you can shoot through walls, you can destroy a little bit of the environment around you, but you can't send the whole city toppling. I'd assume it's somewhere around those lines and maybe in the CGI trailer when Yasuke sends those dudes flying through the wall, it's something like that. Become a shinobi assassin. As the quick-witted and agile Nawe, use noise, light, and shadows to evade detection as enemies respond to their changing surroundings. Distract guards using kunai, shuriken, and smoke bombs. Infiltrate enemy bases with your grappling hook and parkour skills, and assassinate your targets with the hidden blade. So it says become a shinobi assassin. Well, at least we got confirmation there in one way or another that we do indeed join the assassins. If we didn't, it would probably just say become a shinobi or become a shinobi ninja, even though I think ninja means shinobi. I, 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 I don't know. But yeah, to me, that saying, look, we are going to join the assassins. We're going to officially get our hidden blade. And yeah, it's going to go like classic AC in that regard. 
And when it says assassinate your targets with the hidden blade, again, confirmation that we do receive the hidden blade. It wasn't just in the cinematic, we're gonna get it in gameplay. Become a legendary samurai. As the legendary and charismatic samurai Yasuke, strike your foes with brutal precision and power. Use his combat-oriented skills to attack, block, parry, and defeat your enemies. Master the vast arsenal of weapons at your disposal, featuring katana, kanabo, bows, nanjina, and more, to free Japan from its oppressors. Again, this is confirmation to us that Yasuke is going to be this brute character that we play as for a more combat-heavy playstyle. Now, I did say in my last video how this is kind of defeating the whole point of an Assassin's Creed game. The Assassin fantasy is to sneak, to use stealth. But, let's face it, at this point, the Assassin's Creed series definitely does appeal to a much wider range of AC fans. Those newer AC fans being people that don't really understand and didn't play the older games, so don't quite have the same expectations for an AC game that the older fans did. Ubisoft, whether deliberately or not, have created a massive divide in their community and their fan base, and each side of this community pretty much hates the other it's really toxic i won't lie and it's like you can either be on one side or or the other it's not like you can like both you, you've got to like one or the other and it, yeah it's draining but this is ubisoft's way to accommodate for that so to some extent i i kind of respect it you know they're trying to bridge that gap but at the same time if i'm going to be just completely objective on game design and making a good ac game again assassin's creed was always about social stealth, blending in, sneaking, as little combat as possible because one of the tenets of the creed was to never compromise the brotherhood. Again, it's a completely different type of game. I personally like the older ones much better for what they were. I'm not a massive fan of the newer RPG games and realistically I don't even know if I'm gonna be a massive fan of AC Shadows, but that doesn't mean I hate the people that do love Odyssey and do love Valhalla and are going to love Shadows. I actually respect you and your own opinions are valid, it's just that I personally may disagree with them, but you know, that's completely fine. Anyway, let's move on. Now the final point I want to bring up, and this is quite a controversial one, is the pricing between different editions of Assassin's Creed Shadows. You have your standard edition for $59.99. It gives you the base game and a pre-order bonus of a new quest called Throne to the Docks. You've got your gold edition of Assassin's Creed Shadows that comes to £94.99. As you can probably tell by my voice, I am from the UK, so this is coming up in pounds, but I'll also throw up US dollars on screen as well. You get the base game, you get your Throne to the Docks quest, you also get access to the Season Pass and three days early access to Assassin's Creed Shadows. The Throne to the Docks bonus quest, with additional unlockable content, whatever that might be, as well as two upcoming DLC expansions. And last but not least, you have the ultimate edition of Assassin's Creed Shadows, coming at $114.99. Base game, pre-order bonus, season pass, as well as the ultimate pack. In the ultimate pack, it contains the Sekiru character pack, including gear and weapon sets for both Naue and Yasuke, the Sekiru Beast and Dragon Tooth Trinkets. The Sekiru Hideout Pack, including four unique ornaments to customize the hideout for your Shinobi League. Five skill points, the Red Dragon Filter in Photo Mode. So I'll quickly point out what we see here. The Sekiru Beast is obviously a mount for your character. Again, this mythical approach to Assassin's Creed that the older games didn't really have a place for, but the newer games very much do. If that's your playstyle, that's the sort of AC game you like, then you're probably going to be excited by the idea of new mounts that aren't just horses and, you know, you do you. Trinkets, I assume, may be similar to the medallions in Assassin's Creed Mirage. If it's not those, it might be things that you can display within your hideout. Then again, it references four unique ornaments in your hideout, so I, I don't know. As I said, this is a controversial pricing system. Now, the main reason it's so controversial is because of the amount of additions you have, and again, the cost of them. It's nothing new in the gaming industry, and it's definitely nothing new when it comes to Ubisoft. But that doesn't mean people aren't going to get upset, and I think it's completely valid why they would. The Throne to the Dogs quest, for example, is classed as a pre-order bonus. Realistically, it's probably just a side mission that was in the game, and they thought it had enough substance to lock behind a paywall, just like they have done with the new Jabba the Hutt questline in the Star Wars Outlaws pre-order bonus. Again, it's a pre-order bonus, but I'm sure once the game comes out, you will be able to purchase that mission for however much money, $4.99, $5.99, for an example. 
When it comes to Season Pass, it is very pricey because, yeah, you're getting two DLCs, but there are going to be probably two to three more DLCs after that that you're then going to have to pay for again, pay more money for. If you want to see all of the content in Assassin's Creed Shadows, you're probably going to be spending upwards of like $500. And that might sound crazy, but think about it. You buy the Ultimate Edition for $115. There's maybe three more expansions after the ones included in the season pass, which you have to buy again for $30 each, let's say. It's another $90 on top of your $115. Then if you want to unlock all of the outfits in the microtransaction store, well, there's probably going to be about 10, 15, 20 different outfits. It's about $5 each. I'm going to put that at maybe $100 to $200 on top. Yeah, you can see how this is ramping up. Again, I know this is nothing new when it comes to the gaming industry and Ubisoft, but it's always worth bringing up because it deserves valid criticism. I'm going to make a full dedicated video on this, so that's probably all I'll say today. But if you want to see that video when it comes out where I talk about this topic in much more detail, I script it out and I go deep into this topic, then press the subscribe button and turn the bell notification on so you don't miss it. And last but not least, we have a tiny little bit more of information. Play it your way you decide whether to play a shinobi or samurai. Approach quests with whichever character you prefer. Each possess their own respective progression, stats, skills, and gear. Naue, trained as a shinobi assassin from the Iga province. Naue sets out to travel through Japan on a quest for revenge, to honor an impossible promise. I just wanted to read that because it does again confirm here that Naue is trained as an assassin. Yasuke, after becoming a loyal samurai for Oda Nobu... Nobun... No... Nobun... Yasuke finds a new purpose confronting demons of his past. And there you have it, that is all the information when it comes to gameplay for Assassin's Creed Shadows. I want to add one more final thought and I cannot stress this enough. From my advice, do not pre-order Assassin's Creed Shadows before you see the actual product. Don't let a snazzy, cool-looking reveal trailer bait you into pre-ordering the game, bait you into dropping over $100. Because at the end of the day, you haven't seen gameplay. You're paying for something. You're giving your money away for something you haven't even seen. You might be convinced that you'll love AC Shadows, and yeah, you very well might. But what if you don't? What if the gameplay is shown and you're disappointed? Well, you're probably not getting a refund on your pre-order at that point in time. As well as all that, Ubisoft are always just looking for more reasons to shill as much to you as possible, to squeeze as much money out of you as they can. If they could lift you up by the ankles to see what would fall out your pockets, they'd do it. By pre-ordering a game before you've even seen the gameplay, that's just confirmation to their own bias that they can keep shilling you more and more. At least wait until you see the game. That's my opinion. You don't have to take it. If you have pre-ordered the game already, then yeah, that's fair enough. You know, you do you. It's your life. It's your game at the end of the day, and it's your money. So again, I'm not going to tell you what to do, and I do respect you for your own choices. But if you were going to ask my opinion, you know, that's the advice I'd give. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on everything we talked about today? Do you like what you see or do you not? Let me know in the comments. We'll get a conversation going and build that AC community. Also, press the like button if you enjoyed this because a like actually does make my videos go a long way. Puts me in the algorithm, gets me a bit more views, and it gives me the opportunity to make more videos like this on a more frequent basis. As well as that, if you want to stay up to date with everything Assassin's Creed Shadows, you can press the subscribe button to stay in the loop. My Instagram and Twitter are linked in the description. I love you guys, mate, the father of understanding guide us. I will see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you.